Hello, I'd like to talk about darkness. Darkness is not, or should not be, a symbol of evil. The darkness is necessary for rest, growth and regeneration. When we denigrate darkness, we denigrate the unconscious parts of ourselves, the shadow side. Shadow work isn't about destroying the ego or um, eradicating the parts of the, of the unconscious that we can't cope with. It's about bringing them up into consciousness and integrating them into your everyday self, into your conscious self. And I think that one of the key differences between the New Age and paganism is that the New Age... Um, people tend to talk about themselves as light workers and to really focus on the light to the exclusion of the darker aspects of life and the self. So, for example, they would tend to be um, disparaging of people's feelings of anger, which are a natural response to the evil and bad stuff that goes on in the world. If you're not angry about the death of George Floyd and of Dawn to Wright and all the other needless, awful deaths, if you're not angry about the destruction of the environment, then there's something wrong there. You need to take a look at yourself. Um, we should be angry about the destruction of the rainforest. We should be angry about the way black people are being killed by the police. And I think that this denigration of darkness is actually a form of anti-blackness because darkness is a necessary part of life. The dark of the winter and the cold of the winter and the cold of the night, these are important things that help the natural cycle. So death is a natural part of the cycle and being reborn is natural. You can't have that growth and regeneration without parts of the system decaying and dying. So death and decay are a natural precursor to rebirth and growth. If everything lived forever, then um, the world would be very, very full. So, um, and everything would be static and nothing would change. So whilst change can be painful, it's also necessary for growth. And think about the beauty of the springtime. You can't have the beauty of the springtime without the darkness and cold of the winter, because you need that darkness and cold of the winter for the seeds to regenerate. And in some spiritual traditions, the darkness is um, revered as a time of dream and extra mystical connection with everything um, because it's the time when the stars come out and the moon shines forth. So I think as a culture, we need to take a good look at our relationship with darkness and we need to understand that darkness is our friend there's a great quote, great quote from Oscar Wilde where he talks about returning to the forest and the night because um, civilization has hurt him by imprisoning him for being queer. And um, he talks about nature healing his hurts. And I think that we need to take refuge in nature and... We need to realise that we are part of nature and recognising that darkness is a thing of beauty and a necessary part of the cycle is part of that recognition. And this, I believe, is why paganism um, and witchcraft have a lot to offer the world because we 
have always venerated the darkness and the moon and the twilight side of, na of our own natures. And I think if we use darkness as a metaphor for evil, or we talk about how we're focusing on the light, then that's actually a dangerous form of symbolism. Because one of the things that uh, people do when they won't talk about anger and they won't talk about politics in their spirituality and they won't address the those you know so-called negative emotions is it's spiritual bypassing you know we've all seen those people who are like oh i'm too enlightened to um to bother with politics and uh you know uh i can't cope when people get angry well, you know, people get angry for very, very good and valid reasons. And we need to sit with that and look at what we can do to help, not call, not tone police them for the way they're expressing their anger. Um, so, yeah, uh, I think that darkness is a big piece of this puzzle and it's something that we need to honour and... It's also a symbol of the Divine Feminine, um, because the Goddess is a symbol of the night and the moon. And those things are intrinsically linked with the Divine Feminine. Obviously there are Sun Goddesses and Moon Gods and you know, it's not all about gender, but um, I think that a lot of the Western denigration of the darkness is also to do with the denigration of the feminine and the idea that the feminine is irrational and um, somehow lesser. And if we can reclaim the darkness, we can reclaim the positive symbolism of the feminine. And um, that's really important because that's how we get back into right relationship with the earth. So, um, Let's hear it for the darkness. So, sacred endarkament. Okay, blessed be.